Hey guys, thanks for watching that quick B-roll I put together for my new workstation. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna go over all the parts I assembled from the new rig and sort of give you a reason why I chose those parts. Uh, so yeah, let's get started with the video. All right, so I'm gonna be starting with the processor. I got a Ryzen 3950X 16 core 32 thread processor. Uh, so yeah, lots of cores. Uh, I use Blender a lot in my workflow and uh, Blender uses lots of cores to do simulations and uh, render textures in, in, in viewport. So that works out pretty well for me. Uh, I wanted a 5950X actually, but uh, just due to the current stock situation we have uh, in, in the market, it's very hard to get your hands on one of those. Uh, but yeah, this one is works out pretty well for me and I'm very happy with this one. Alright, on to the next part uh, with the motherboard. I got a Gigabyte Aorus uh, X570 Pro Wi-Fi motherboard. Uh, this motherboard had some really good reviews on the internet and uh, also, uh, also it has like really good VRM which is basically uh, providing enough power to CPU to get overclocked. Uh, the other thing is uh, this is uh, PCI Gen 4 ready so that's also good um, though I don't I don't think we have games and applications making use of that much bandwidth but uh, a good future proofing I guess. Uh, other than that yeah pretty solid motherboard uh, to house all the components. On to the most exciting part of the rig, the graphic card. I was lucky enough to get my hands on one of these GeForce RTX 3090. Uh, I went like uh, on Black Friday, I went like uh, 10 in the morning, stood in, and stood in the line for like 2 hours to get my hands on one of these. So yeah, uh, that turned out pretty well. Uh, this has 24 gigs of video memory, so basically I can load heavy scenes in one go into the graphic card and just render out of core. Uh, this also has 10,000 CUDA cores and um, second generation RT cores and tensor cores for uh, AI calculations. Still haven't got a chance to really, uh, you know, uh, harness uh, its power but uh, sooner or later I'll be doing some cool projects and really making use of this much uh, of video memory and uh, powerful graphic card. So yeah, uh, very happy with this one as well. To cool the CPU I was really hoping that my old radiator works uh, but I think it's just not enough and uh, my CPU was sitting at uh, 80 degrees idle which, which is crazy so I upgraded on that front as well and I was able to get this one. Uh, this is a anti-leak uh, uh, deep cool GameStrom anti-leak Castle 240 RGB uh, which uh, dual fan configuration though that's pretty good to cool out the CPU lots of, lots of surface area it also has an anti-leak um, feature which kind of you know releases the pressure and uh, you know keeps uh, uh, any leaking hazard away uh, other than that uh, it's got some really cool RGB options as well and uh, yeah when I installed it my temperatures went down to like 50 degrees so uh, that worked out pretty well for me. Alright so for the case I went with uh, Fantex Entho Evolve X which you can see over here at the back. Yeah, uh, it's a pretty cool uh, looking case with uh, full aluminium body and double sided tempered glass which I think is pretty unique. Uh, other than that, this this case also has uh, some RGB uh, strips in the front which gives some really nice lighting effects. Uh, it also has front type USB type C and uh, this case has some really cool cable management options as well. So basically there are these flaps at the back which kind of closes and then hides all the cable away. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it and I also appreciate the amount of support and love you guys have been giving me which is making this channel grow day by day. So yeah, in the future I'll continue making some cool tutorials and projects with the new tech I have. I'm very excited about it. Uh, so yeah, please like, share and subscribe to, to this video to keep seeing more from me and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.